them down here for many years, and I've seen the Eindecker up at Oshkosh. This is the first time I've actually seen one down here at uh, Sonnenfeld. I had it here last year, um, but this year is the only the year that I was able to fly it. Now, how did you build this airplane? Like, is this something that uh, you, you designed yourself and built yourself, or how did you get a hold of it? No, this is considered a materials kit, and it's for Robert Bosley Design uh, from Aerodrome Airplanes, and they're based in uh, Holden, Missouri. Now, how does the kit come to you? There's a lot of work in the you have to, you have to you know, for example, uh, cut all the tubing and drill all the parts? The uh, tubing all comes straight. You have to build your wooden bucks and bend your tubes. Uh, it does come with uh, their gussets. You have to drill up your gussets. And uh, now, this kit in particular was an older kit. All the gussets were square. I had to trim them. But the newer kits now come pre-drilled. I believe they're plasma cut uh, uh, gussets. And you just deburr them, drill it up, and shoot it together with pop rivets. There's no welding. Were there any special tools that you had to buy in order to build this? I didn't have to buy any special tools. Uh, it's you can use uh, your shop hand tools, but I did just for ease. I did buy a compressor and I used uh, some air tools just to help me out. Now, where did you build it? I mean, did the wife uh, give you a little bit of a hassle when you <laughs> came in and said, "Hey, listen, I'm going to start building an airplane"? <laughs> yeah, I have a house with a basement under it, and I pretty much told her that this is what I would like to do, and she supported me in it. Yeah, so I came to Lakeland and I saw the prototype of this kit in Lakeland and I had to have it. And I bought it, took it home, started building. Uh, again, you, why have the inclination to go towards this kit? Is this something that you've seen in the past or you just like the, the World War I uh, feel? Or? I, you know, I, when I was a kid I saw that the movie The Great Waldo Pepper and if you look at this airplane you can see some hints of that movie in it. The tail is the yellow and black checker that was on that DR-1. Ever since that time, I just fell in love with World War I aviation, and I always wanted to build a World War I airplane. I just never ran across one that would be in my budget, and this one fit. Now, how long did it take you to actually build it from the time that the kid arrived at your door? It took me in, I would guess, about 400 hours to build it, but it took me four years, and that was because my wife came up pregnant two, two months after I got my kit, and building it in the basement, you can't do that with a new baby in the house, so I, I, that slowed me way down. Now, when you're building the, the kit, is there anything special or anything that you changed on it from what uh, Robert had designed? Yeah, I, I fly out of Georgia, and most of your runways have slopes, and so I felt like I needed brakes. So I designed brakes into my kit. Um, I changed the seat and used an aftermarket seat to, for a little more comfort. Um, I didn't change any control surface. Um, no, nothing aesthetically was changed, just the um, only other thing I changed was the um, bell crank for the aileron system. I, I did a pull-pull. No, have you ever built anything like this before? Uh, only model airplanes. This was my first full-scale uh, airplane to build. Now, what are you powering it with when you finish? This one is a Rotax 503. Uh, uh, the belt drive or gearbox on it? This one has the 2.581 gearbox. What kind of performance would you get out of, uh, this looks like a real uh, homesick angel when I uh, saw it flying yesterday. <laughs> it, it cruises, um, my high speed cruise is 70. Um, I cruise usually between 65 and 70. What would the climb rate come in at? I'm guessing the climb rate's around uh, 9 to 1,000 for the minute. Yeah, um, there's, Robert has a great website. It's called airdromeaeroplanes.com. And you can look up his uh, phone number. You can search Eindecker, uh, any Fulker DR1s, and you'll you'll run across his website and call Robert. He's a great guy. He'll, uh, he helps you out as much as he can. What were the manuals like and the assembly instructions and stuff like that? It came, uh, this particular one, it came on a basic set of plans. Uh, there wasn't there's mostly drawing and dimensional. Um, any uh, any help that I needed, I just called Robert, and Robert was very quick to uh, send me parts that I needed if I didn't uh, uh, like 
they had bent a part uh, f with a forklift when they were taking it off their truck, and he quickly sent me another part I needed, no charge, and uh, very easy to, to uh, deal with and uh, very quick to give you information when you ask for it. Now, you're not just saying that because you're going to England with them or something like that, eh? You know, boy, I wish I was on that trip. <laughs> that, that would be sweet. No, we don't talk much. Um, I live in Georgia. He lives in uh, Missouri. And uh, after I got my plane done, uh, the only time I see him is here at, at Lakeland. Thank you very much for your time. Sure.